Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this episode, we take some photography of the Louvre in Paris. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, my name is Serge Ramelli, I'm a French photographer from where? The amazing, the incredible, the romantic, the joyful city of Paris, France. And in this short episode, I want to show you how we can find some nice framing in a big place like the Louvre. We have an okay sunset tonight, lots of people, let's make some photo. Follow me. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, so uh, I'm actually in a train on the way to Provence and I'm going to try to do this tutorial for you to show you some of the best photos that I got. Uh, this is my video, I think number 21 out of 30 and this was my last day of my uh, workshop in Paris and we went to the Louvre. We actually arrived too late because we had a great dinner and we are a little too late because it was a great sun sunset that we kind of missed. Uh, that's not very professional but you know when you have great French food that's what happens. So the first photo that I took is this you know regular sunset that was kind of ending. The problem with the Louvre is that it's much more interesting when it, when the light comes on. So I, I took one wide shot and then I went, you know, on a pano trying to get the same scene. But, you know, I'm not so excited about the photo because it's, uh, you know, the lights are not on, the sunset is kind of over. But anyways, you know, I try to shoot it over and over again. I have a lot of sensor dust. I'm sorry about that. Then I try to zoom in on the sunset and I was not really happy with that. The first photo that I really was happy about is this one uh, actually let me just show you how I retouch this one this was a this one is very easy this is a shot if you ever go to Paris you know go behind the pyramid on the right or on the left side and I took this just as the lights turned on like literally that same second and I always like to do that because 90% of my cityscapes is when the light turns on I got 10 20 minutes to do my shot and that's it and the best of the best is when they just turn on because the contrast is not so hard anymore so the workflow that I did is you know just my classic workflow nothing special opening up the highlights bring it down bring back the contrast like this on the white balance I went a little warmer I added some magenta because that's my sort of signature and then of course I took the sensor dust out because that's kind of like really annoying I'd been you know I should have cleaned up my sensor before doing this shot and I did not but you know as the song says I'm not the only one anyways uh, then I reframed this so that uh, this light is not visible because you never want to have something that's half in or half out you know even that's kind of weird so actually uh, that's that structure from the Louvre so maybe here and uh, yeah something like this actually no 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 I think I went a little wider maybe just right here maybe and maybe make it this a little more panoramic a little more panoramic you know something like this uh, then I went to I guess to auto to make it straight auto yeah and uh, let me recrop it a little bit. Yeah, Otto does a good job most of the time. You see, oops, 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 oops. Let me reset this. So that's the final framing that I went for. Uh, you know, actually, I would spend more time just making it, you know, straight. But I just wanted to go really fast through the photos that I got. Okay, uh, and I actually did this in HDR. I was, you know, when there is a bit of a challenge in light, you know, are you better off bracketing your shot? That's another one that I kind of like. Actually, you know, I could take press command shift c take whatever i did this except the crop and the transform copy this and put it over this photo or no uh, i think i have a better one where i have the two lamps yeah this photo for example and just see how it looks yeah pretty good i would need to get rid of the garbage can and uh yeah of course a few sensor dust not crazy about this this framing because 
you know the bottom part uh, that sort of is half enough half out here so I probably would need to sort of crop it out and make it darker so that we you have a lot of attention you can always play with dodge and burn to to you know put what you want to at your attention on so you could make this darker uh, going to exposure so that there is not so much attention but it's not my favorite shot from the night actually I think this one is better uh, it's more blue but it's uh, there is less light you know from the walls uh, here but it's better well then what I did and that's really what I want to show you on this one because that's really the one I like the most is um, I went and did some HDR inside so I took I believe uh, yeah this shot this shot and this shot or uh, maybe it was this one oh yeah this one and this one and what I did is I went into Aurora so I did I took this photo uh, press command command right click export and use uh, Aurora HDR and this time just giving them the raw files open original image so I'm just going to choose alignment and create HDR so I loaded the raw files and usually if you go here and you click this you've got different pre preset in the software I'm using guess what the surge remedy presets my own preset I always work with my own presets and on this one I think I'm going to start off with uh, photo surge bright as like my base and the one thing I love about Aurora and it's coming out in Windows soon so don't you know uh, don't be upset because it's not on Windows they've heard you and they're working on it they have dozen of developers working on the Windows version it's gonna come out in the next month but in the meantime for Mac users let me show you what I love about this software is you can tone map the image layers by layers so I can go to full search bright and that's gonna be my basic layer and then I can go here and say add adjustment layer and on this one I can take another preset which is what I always do is I take photo search local details that's gonna make the whole photo very HDR looking which not necessarily what I want what I then do is I just take a little brush here and I just brush the details just here in front uh, so that I don't have the HDR look everywhere but just in front, you know, that very uh, detailed look. All right, and uh, so that's really cool. And then um, I can go and, uh, you know, I think that's basically it. I'm just going to do like one last adjustment layer. Uh, and on this one, on the, on the last one, just some basic stuff. I'm going to put in the shadows a little more, just a little tiny more, uh, not touch the highlights, and I think I'm good to go. I think I'm happy with what I did, but that's not all. I'm going to finish this in Lightroom and Photoshop, so I'm going to apply this. I just used Aurora to make, you know, th the HDR. So I'm back here in Lightroom, and now I'm ready to do the final touches. And um, all I'm going to do once I'm in Lightroom is I'm just, I usually do a double development, so I'm going to open up the shadows a little bit, bring down the highlights, just a bit, do the black, do the, you know, a little bit of black, a little bit of white, just to give it a bit more contrast. Uh, I'm going to, of course, erase that little spot here. And um, voila. All right, so I'm going to go to auto and hope that it does the best. Yeah, auto is good. I think I'm going to crop it a little bit. I want it to be exactly uh precise on the left and on the right so i have something a bit like similar maybe make this a little smaller and i think i want to do a little gradient here to make this a little bit darker so i love to you know for me aurora is again a starting point you can work the photo a little bit here and uh, you know i would do some cleanup here in the um in you know there there's a bit of like lone exposure looks but basically, that's the final image that I got. That was one of the images that I got. Uh, no, actually, that's one of the images I got. Uh, much more contrasty. You know, and I just try different looks. I think I like this one more because it's more natural. Much more natural. So I'm going to put a four star on this one. And I did another one, you know, in the same idea using ORHDR this. So, you know, at the end of the day, the, the only photo I really like was uh, this one, this one, this one, which is more natural. I think I'm going to not take this one but this one this one is kind of cool and voila so that was my night in the Louvre guys uh, remember that I have uh, the Hollywood coming out uh, it's uh, I'm a couple of days away from the full release and uh, if you didn't pre-order it it would mean the world to me if you can 
Uh, it's coming out next Tuesday, and if you see this and you can take a second to pre-order it on iTunes, you have all the information at the end of this video and on the link below. Also, check out my new Photoshop for Photographer course. If you have the old course, it's a complete different course. It's almost three times the size, a lot more projects, much more shorter videos, and I'm getting great, great reviews on it. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.